the most important. I think we reach critical mass. Okay, let's get started. Okay, because, thanks. Uh, you know, also, thank you for organizing us for giving me a great chance to uh, talk about my recent work. Uh, so, um, thank you, everybody, for coming to the morning session. So, I was expecting so, some more few people. Yeah. <coughs> so, it's so, uh, Anyway, so my talk is focused on, uh, focusing on factory digital. Company of production and proton proton and proton input regions. Um, I will use, uh, uh, I'm using so, uh, two approaches. Uh, one is saturation, uh, characters on the framework. The other one is uh, TMD, say, and so on. So, because those two approaches giving a, a reasonable description for uh, JF side production of any coconut production in, uh, in smaller. PT region. So the, this program is aimed for ESC, pro, ESC physics, right? So the, in ESC, uh, and also Jefferson Smart or Brookhaven and LG, uh, the key physics, one of the key physics is the speed tomography. So, so you have already know the pattern distribution function is a uh, uh, this is a one dimension, uh, so distribution as a function of your x. Uh, this is a form factor. And uh, in addition to one dimension of distribution, uh, two plus one dimension, dimensional, uh, dimensional uh, pattern distribution function, like a transverse momentum dependent distribution and generalized pattern distribution function, being just two, because these guys are. Uh, now giving us some information on patterns, uh, right? Say it's an angular moment or something. So it's a so the these uh, two plus one dimension are uh, dimensional uh, distribution of it, giving us a, a rich physics. Right. So, so can I ask a stupid question? Sure. Um, so if I take a linear distribution to get the world k curve, uh, wouldn't I get so what is the skewedness to get the GPDs? Um, well, the R perp. I don't know. R perp, so, yes. Yeah. Is the, In the R perp, the Fourier transform. Okay, that's, transform. that's the deep yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Skewedness is what you do. Yes. But yes, skewedness is what you do. Well, there should be a skewedness variable there too, right? That's what I'm saying. There should be another a C variable or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you for asking. But uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't mention uh, GPD in this talk. Okay. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> it's not a good, nice looking picture. I right? So, <laughs> it's so it's so GPD at yeah. Xi equals zero for the All right. So, uh, okay. Let's put aside of GPD. But the uh, TMD is more interesting for me. And <laughs> for you. So, so TMD. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so TMD is a 3D patterns confined dimension. Uh, so how so how to access 3D structure in in a hardware form? Uh, so TMD is uh, as I mentioned, the TMD is a confined dimension of patterns in a hardware form. So so we need a two scale to grow up TMD. So one is half scale cube. The other one is more smaller. So uh, this smaller scale PT uh, is giving us, us uh, some like uh, confined, uh, the meaning of confined, because uh, this, this PT is close to round QCD. Uh, and GPD is known for an exclusive process. Uh, we need, and the, uh, there are some bias uh, probes uh, that I've already proposed, proposed for a long time ago. So, for example, semi inclusive DIS and Dorian Higgs, Z boson production and company production are very useful on uh, investigating TMD and DP, DP battery Compton scattering, DBCS, and um, exclusive vector boson production is very interesting. Well, investigating GPD. So among those uh, 
probes of uh, coconut production uh, is very interesting probe in the sense that coconut production can be used for searching GPD and GPD. Uh, so, but we have a problem. So there is a um, coconut production mechanism uh, is partly understood, understood since the Jeff side was discovered. So the modern approach, three modern approaches for describing coconut production. Uh, to express, uh, to uh, show those uh, approach, approaches, uh, we should think about these diagrams. So this is a typical diagram uh, from uh, two group fusion to some coconut state. Uh, in principle, so these two lines are heavy coats. Uh, this is the car singlet uh, coconut. Um, this is a long distance part. And in principle, this is a very complicated and known part of physics. But uh, in many cases, we can put uh, some onshore cut here because uh, this uh, uh, propagator of uh, heavy coke is dominated by some pore. Okay, so let's put, let's cut here. So the left hand side is a QQ bar production from gluon gluon fusion, for example, in hardening uh, scattering. So we need an initial part on distribution functions, uh, and also just a, a hard scattering part. On left, left hand side, this is an onion production, and this is very complicated. So nowadays, as uh, at present, so there are three kind of uh, models uh, we use, we user use, uh, for example, car singlet model, car operation model, or non relativistic QCD. So in car singlet model, uh, this QQ bar is in car singlet. So QQ bar is produced in car singlet state. Uh, in car operation model, so we don't care about the uh, car states. So we sum up all car as P states. And in, and in NRQCD, so we explicitly uh, take care of car octet contribution. And this in, uh, in, um, NRQCD is a double expansion uh, theory uh, is associated with uh, coupling constant called first. So uh, this is success, yeah, one uh, great nice figure uh, from these papers. This is a successful, uh, this figure is showing some successful in NRQCD up next to reading order. So the JFSI production cross section is completed by uh, pardon, <laughs> partonic, uh, QQ power production cross section and long distance matrix elements. So, uh, so these long distance matrix elements should be universal. So at low PT and at high PT, this should be the same. Should be the same, but we don't know yet. But but uh, so collinear factorization is very um, nice, robust approach. Uh, approach so that uh, uh, in many studies for coconut production in NRQCD, these long distance matrix elements are fitted by high PT Jeff side data, for example, at Tevatron, LHG, or something. So, so out yeah. of curiosity, when you say it's fitted, what, what exactly is the fitted? Like, how many parameters, or what, what has been fitted? Uh, well, it's just numbers, or no? Yeah, this is just number. So, um, yeah, it depends on the channel. So, in gluon gluon fusion channel, there are four kinds of uh, long distance matrix elements. Uh, but one of them, one of them is color signal channel. So color signal channel, uh, long distance matrix element or color signal channel is uh, like is uh, like just a parameter from uh, sorry, it's 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 calculated by using uh, potential models. Mm -hmm. So yeah, potential models. So you know, 
a value uh, uh, a well function uh, uh, at origin mm -hmm. is applied to uh, for casting a channel. Uh, the other three channels are created by uh, the plot IPT. Uh, yes. So in principle, three kinds of parameters we need to fit to give you this curve. So, so, so is that is there no further fitting here on this data? So everything is fixed uh, to that one? Then? Yeah. So yes. Uh, as far as this curve, so, uh, they are in long distance multi percent by using the temperature data. What's the difference between the Ah, uh, so, so can, can we like on this Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> um, some, yeah, this is some technical oh, thing. So, so kind of, kind of offset state. So the three channel one zero offset. And this, this is spectroscopic notations. Or three S one offset. Or three P J offset. Right. But so these, yeah, of course these guys are can be fitted by um, table data. Yeah, have key, but the data weight are unknown. So uh, in some case, for, for example, if this is a uh, uh, this is a larger than these guys, something like that. We can have uh, some one line. So if these guys are larger than these guys, probably we can have something. These uh, uncertainties are uh, showing. Uh, these uncertainties are showing in the figures. And yes. And also, uh, I don't mention really too much about detail, but uh, so another point is, so which data we should use to fit the long distance matrix elements. So this is a, a yeah, in this case, uh, they use a telephone data, but we can use a LHC data, for, for example, a CMS, Atlas, I mean. And also we can use a HERA data, um, as left, you know, left data, so. Uh, so several groups are competing to give a more accurate values for this long distance matrix. Yeah. What's the difference between those two? It's just a slightly different rapidity range, right? Or uh, yes, it's slightly different rapidity range. This is a uh, CMS data, right? Da, 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 da. This is Atlas data. But uh, energy range is, yeah, scattering energy is the same. And um, this, yeah. Yeah, roughly speaking, this is a mid rapid. Yeah, it goes mm -hmm. one to zero. Uh, so. I thought there were real issues when you actually had this polarization of this side. Oh, that's a, right? Yeah, uh, nice. Right? I mean, it's just so wonderful, right? Yeah, that's really wonderful, but. It's the non success in our QC. Unsuccessful. People don't compete so much. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, I don't, I don't mention it. <laughs> but I mean, right, all those <laughs> models have specific assumptions about polarization. Yeah. And when you test those assumptions, yeah. they somehow don't work. But some yeah. works more wonderfully on this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't say this. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so, just to understand better, so the dollar is QCD. Is it correct that uh, open greater non zero expectation value hmm. or is a single final component state? Is it correct to this model? Yes, as far as you believe in LQCD is correct. So NRQCD is a uh, a limit of QCD, yeah, heavy core limit of QCD. So so if you take a limit of, uh, say, cock mass goes to infinity, so you can, you can find some NRQCD Lagrangian. So using NRQCD Lagrangian, we can uh, 
calculate. So, uh, in our QCB matrix element. And so, yeah. So, yeah, this is a, I think this is the answer. So, yes, as far as you believe, NRQCD is correct. So, uh, NRQCD Lagrange is correct. I bet. Yes. But, so, okay, okay. Let me go this way. So, uh, yeah, so how an octal can become a single? No, no, how octal failure can be a non specification value in single? I mean, well, it probably means something, right? Yeah. So, right. Yeah. So that's why it's called color yeah. operation or something. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, but this is not evaporation because he's actually going to do a calculation. Yeah. Evaporation, you close your eyes. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so did we do a text a moment? Very little, oh, very little, very little, in the heavy quark limit, very little. <laughs> right. uh, okay, so, uh, this operator, just a two-bar two operator. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, nice, nice, uh, good question. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't tell you. Is it this local cube? So, cube by cube? Yeah. 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 Yeah, local. Yes, local. Uh, yeah, local. But the point is, so if so, for coordinate state. So, for example, physical jet side plot, jet side state is described by uh, Q cube of Fox state. Yeah, this is yeah. So no problem. So. No problem. So we can take a, a non-relativistic. Uh, yeah, we can solve non-relativistic wave uh, quantum like uh, wave function. Uh, non-relativistic training equation. Sorry, training equation to to obtain this state. But in energy CD, so there of course there are higher box state right. <laughs> so these states are uh, impossible, negligible. But who solve, Who can solve this? Uh, who can get this uh, higher Fox state? And um, so in NRQCD uh, is telling us this higher Fox state is suppressed by some velocity. Uh, so. Yeah, by by velocities, yeah, power of velocities. So this first e is like <coughs> so b of n, right? This is a, a in Kirchhoff rest frame, and uh, for for photomodium, so this velocity is small, but uh, in turn, uh, uh, this velocity is not so small. So yeah, this is another. Uh, in in successful in NRQCD, so, so um, I don't know how to handle these higher box states. So, so coming back to the original question, so what's the operator definition of a color octet long distance matrix element? Yeah. Uh, okay, this is a, a heavy clock uh, yeah. operator and so yeah, uh, yeah, in that color octet state. Yeah, so kind of says okay, so we need some uh SU SU3 uh generator here and side box side um, side box uh, oh something <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah 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 uh, oh, it's. so this is a uh operator uh bar and this is a So this is a car octet long distance matrix element. And if you go to uh, spin one state, you can put some um, matrices, uh, sigma. Right. So, 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 how, so now this is, uh, this is a four-core operator. Yeah. 
So should I kind of be thinking about it as the color object matrix so that, so that I should to, that I should think of it inserting a full set of states here in the in the middle of this expression and thinking of this color object matrix then as a transition from a JPSR, JPSI state through a to a color octet uh, final state, which is like QQ bar G. QQ bar G or something where the QQ bar are in a in an octet state, and then there's a some other glue is carrying away the rest of the color. Well, in the, I think in the, in the physical process, you produce a QQ bar. Of course, it's most likely to be in an octet state to start out with. Yeah, yeah. And you want to get it to a J side. Exactly. Well, a, a, a color octet operator will do that. As in it's a glue. Yeah. So, so there's a so in the physical process, when you're thinking about is a glue emission. So I think some the, the J side is a QQ bar and a glue on that carries away the color. So the QQ bar can be in a color of that state. But how does this operator do this? So does this it's operator is an offset, right? It's a single yeah. because you have two T's and over. I would think this operator does it if you insert, insert a complete set, set of states in the middle. Yeah. And that complete set of states includes the QQ bar G state. And then you have. Then might have yeah, the this actually. But, but the new one doesn't get emitted, right? You get emitted and absorbed, right? You get that in some new one book from that. I think the physical process it gets emitted. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, yeah, so, 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 if I look at this, I think of this as a about transition matrix element squared, the transition from J side yeah, yeah. to a QQ bar G state squared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then summing over all the QQ bar G and other states, summing over them. Which is just an identity, so this uh, it gives me this. But then, so is it again my question? Is it local or size are at one point, size are at another point, or something? What are the arguments of those genes? Are they all the same? Because <coughs> mm. what you're saying, Thomas, will work with uh, non local. Yeah. Right. Two two local operators, and then just put yeah. your complete set of states in between. Yeah, I'm just guessing here. No, no, no. <laughs> trying to play it. <laughs> <along. laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Okay. Well, yeah. So yes, keep 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 going. Yeah. Because you're going to so the first two transparencies. So, I think it's okay. So. Okay, uh, so, uh, so, so you may, everybody might receive a message from the organizers, well, first week organizers, so, so it's a uh, email, yeah, so you, you find, uh, you can find some statement in the file, in the file, so there are very interesting discussion in the past sessions, so for, for example, uh, yeah, in the file, you can find several different Hands on it or proud and blah 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 blah. And they want to the yeah, the point possible point of interest are uh, tests of university of NLTC matrix elements and then up into uh, inside into bound state structure and production mechanisms to Q Q square dependence. And this is very uh, interesting if we can uh, do it, yeah, do it. And also connections with other uh, fields. So NLTC yeah, this is uh, so, NRQCD itself, right? NRQC matrix elements is an increasing heavy coconut production in proton proton and proton nucleus, which may be tested in exclusive production in EP or company. Yeah, so if we can do this, so it's wonderful. Yeah, I think. But to do, uh, to do that, so we have to uh, consider carefully factors factorization for coconut production in proton proton nucleus from low PT to high PT. So at high PT, so collinear factorization is robust. Everyone knows. But lower PT, uh, <coughs> so there's a given, uh, another story. So, <coughs> so high PT, yeah, we believe a collinear factorization is robust. But uh, raw PT corneal factorization doesn't work, so we should alternative approach 
It's a TMD, transverse momentum dependent framework. So this includes a KT factorization or a Carlos color set. All right, so in this region, yeah, so everybody have worked on this region. So the high PT JFC production is literally understood, understood uh, <laughs> compared to uh, JFC production in uh, at lower PT. So, but the PT, since PT is close to lambda KCD, the study uh, of JFC production is not complicated. So, all right. So there are two approaches, as I mentioned, uh, in the beginning of this talk. So first one is a CCC framework, yeah, involving transverse momentum dependent PDA with saturation scale and the single log is associated with SMARX. And we can handle this single log using GMOG or BK. Um, but the problem is CCC is only applicable to a small expression. Uh, in the meantime, the is going so far, some formalisms involving transverse momentum dependent PDA, single logs, double logs. This is a collinear uh, soft, uh, soft collinear logs. And we can handle uh, these logarithms uh, using big graph, going so far equations. And these, these are the linear evolution equation. Uh, in principle, going so far, some formalisms can be used uh, in the four X. And the physics behind these transverse momentum dependent PDA is different uh, in CC and uh, coin so far some formatters. So in the CC, uh, the transverse momentum pattern, for example, this point is uh, roughly speaking, this is a, a saturation scale. Uh, but in C CSS format, this guy, this KT is uh, obtained. Obtain by fitting pattern shower in transverse plane. So the physics is different. So if we can combine this CCC and CSS formalism uh, consistently, that's wonderful. So super, super nice, but it's very hard. But we can take some essence from these, form, these two different framework. Uh, yeah, that's I uh, have done. Uh, a few years ago. So, I'm oh, sorry, I consumed 30 minutes. So, uh, the remaining of this talk, I, I mentioned uh, Google introduction in the CC framework, uh, second, uh, uh, Google introduction in the TMD, and the third part, I mentioned factorization breaking in total nucleus collisions. So, uh, so QQ bar production. Uh, in CCC has been uh, done in direct dense system. So, so this diagram is very close to uh, the diagram Sanjin, uh shown yesterday. So this diagram shows a proto, yeah, for proto side, so, uh, uh, these uh, beating twist. Uh, in the meantime, for nuclear side, so there are a third, a one third uh, enhancement we have, to, we have. So uh, we have to uh, take into account multiple scattering effect uh, for all others. So these diagrams gives uh, this amplitude and uh, these orders. So there are two Wilson lines, uh, this fundamental Wilson, uh, Wilson line, uh, adjoint ones. So of course we can use uh, uh, we have to use icon approximation, and also we have to use a large MC limit that uh, makes a, a production cross section uh, simplified, <coughs> more simplified. So the this cross uh, QQ bar production cross section uh, is composed by I integrated ground distribution function for the project side, uh, yeah, for the project side, and also dipole amplitude, two dipole amplitude. This is coming from uh, these two uh, width lines in larger limit, and this is the hard factors. Right, so we can take, yeah, we can use these expressions 
to describe uh, for describing uh, side production or uh, the coconut production. And as far as we can use the uh, kind of operation model, because in this to to get this expression, we have already summed up uh, all the car state or spin state. So yeah, so. In this talk, in my talk, uh, I use a color evaporation model in the color evaporation model. The difference is uh, in, in the color evaporation models, the gluon radiation during hydrogenization uh, is uh, taken into account. So, as well as uh, the remaining part is the uh, same. So, F is a transition probability from CC acute uh to a uh, physical uh, bound state. Um, CCC plus NRQCD formalisms are uh, derived by Yan uh, Chimar and Mukan Raju, Benny Mukaran, uh, several years ago. So, the uh, interesting point is a uh, color singlet channel uh, involving uh, three dipole amplitudes. In the meantime, color outlet contribution. Uh, Expressions involving two, only two dipole amplitudes. This is because uh, color single uh, uh, contribution involving quadrupole dipole, a uh, quadrupole amplitude. But as far as we use a uh, large NC approximation with a uh, quasi classical approximation, so we can convert this quadrupole amplitude into uh, three uh, products of three dipole amplitude. But the, unfortunately, the color single channel is small, smaller than color of the channel. So we don't, we don't need to take a uh, worry about the color for amplitude. Sorry, could you elaborate a little bit? So the diagrams you draw yeah. for both channels look the same, but presumably <coughs> they shouldn't be there, right? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, ah. Uh, Yes, <laughs> so diagrams. <laughs> <laughs> the the color of the color. Yes. Yeah. So the projection. Yeah, so we need to So, so of course, so we have to use a color uh, large NC limit. So we can cut, we can cut this, uh, uh, <coughs> this line. So, yeah. The only difference is uh, color state of QQ bar in final state. Yeah. This, yeah. Right, but this the result of it say that means if you use a color singlet, uh, presumably all your exchanges to the left of the cut, all the view on exchanges have to be in a nap color single, single mm -hmm. state and to the right of the cut. Same way, is it obvious that you still get just regular dipole amplitudes or you get some modification, even just an MP model? Um, so, okay, uh, actually, when, when I, when we're looking at the diagrams, one would think that the color singlet would be a dipole square, right? Because yeah. the color singlet, yes, the foreground, that dipole can come so color <laughs> See, you, you might think that you, you simply have the fraction on the left and the fraction on the right, yeah. right? Single. That's not true, that's not the top of the term. Uh, okay. That's that's how Fabio and I got into that collaboration simply by doing the color factors right. Okay. All the rest of it was right. the Carget of uh, that. But, but what's the answer? Is it still dipole amplitudes? No. Well, yes, it, it, it's dipole amplitudes, but it's hard to read off the dipoles from the way just writing it down. Like that. See, so you you exchange color. Uh, you exchange. Uh, uh, you, you, you have inelastic collisions on the left and on the right, but you have to arrange that those inelastic collisions end up being a color single. It's not diffractive. It's not just that you always have just elastic scatters on the nuclear You have two inelastic exchanges break up two neutrons, but the neutrons are still in Right, the right. You've got to force that they end up in a color single. That's the. That's but the, when that's all because it's a blue one coming in, of course. Yes. So the yeah, it's a blue one coming in. It's a color, of course. That's the thing. Yes. Uh, oh, right. There's a color connection between the yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, I just don't yeah. see it. I mean, I mean, well, if you, if you connect the blue one that goes, you know, the vertical uh, blue one in the altitude to the 
This is one of those things that you calculate by talking about the, the uh -huh. first inelastic reaction, uh -huh. taking that point and then summing singlets after and non singlets uh, up to that point. It's a, it's a rather complicated color calculation. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. Uh, but, but it agrees with the results. So. Well, well, Roger, uh, so. We had this paper uh, mm -hmm. before uh, yeah, Raju yeah. et al. We had a paper, but it wasn't so extensive as their paper. And Raju, at one point, came and said, lo and behold, you guys got your factors right. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, they agree. I see. I see. Well, any other questions? <laughs> OK. So. Yeah, this is a fundamental issue. So this is a GFC production in proton proton version. Uh, you know, wide kinematic region from uh, weak from weak to LHC, uh, from meter PT to full PT using uh, C C plus improved color evaporation model. So what what we have to do is fit the normalizations. So F is can be fitted by um, yeah it should be fitted <coughs> um, yeah uh, interestingly this uh, p2 value uh, values are very stable at the uh, LHC so yeah this is uh, yeah this is a very interesting point so f yeah so and also f yeah transition probabilities uh, includes a, a higher order contribution from excited states or k factor, any other contributions. So, this is a JPSI production in CNC plus NRQC. So, in this figure, uh, yellow bands, uh, yeah, yellow bands are CNC plus NRQC, and these blue bands are uh, going collinearly next to reading order NRQC besides. And that they use a uh, uh, same long distance matrix dynamics. Uh, these guys are fitted at the thermatron. And very recently, they give uh, uh, some predictions from CC about uh, JF side polarization at the LHC. So, as far as using these. Long distance matrix elements, so it's CC works well. Similarly, similarly, CC works well. So, but uh, the point in, yeah, as you know, the point in the past, uh, past week, uh, so there are various uh, choice of long distance matrix elements. For example, there are four groups, uh, for example, Baldwin et al. Uh, use these uh, parameterizations. And uh, Yan Chi and Raju use uh, this uh, Salwan because these Salwan are uh, uh, all matrix elements are positive, so they so that they use these. And in the meantime, in E, e plus E minus cation, uh, in RQCD, uh, in the collinear factorization. Uh, Calculations tells us the linear combination of uh, one is zero octet long distance matrix elements and three p zero octet long distance matrix elements as upper bound. So, so here, let me guess. So, if you put these by into this, so. These combinations violate this upper bound. This is all one. By how much? Right. So we don't know. Actually, we don't know. So, so in, in E plus E minus scattering, there's no uh, initial state interaction. So if so, that's why so NRQCD should work, and this upper bound is more very strong statement. But as far as we use these bias, uh, this upper bound is by way. Is that the third uh, 
data is from paper, like same also. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 In hadronic collisions, um, uh, Tevatron H uh, This is E plus E minus. So that's different story. And the numbers you use in the CGC based weights are one of those? Yeah. So in principle, we. Use oh, yeah. Yan Chan Raju initially used these uh, sub Yeah, sub <coughs> I see. So it's nine times ten to the minus two for the first matrix element, which is already, you know, four times, one and a half times larger than the bound. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Without the second Yeah. And that's a very conservative bound. When you consider the C plus C minus, they actually uh -huh. assume that color singlet had zero contribution and then derive that bound. So it's actually, in fact, it's very conservative bound. Mm -hmm. Even if my was just take the Yeah, it's probably more true. <laughs> like color singlet alone saturates the E plus C minus scattering for um, when C C bar is not observed, and they consider that process to show this color on the ground. So so I assume just looking at the operator definition, one would expect this to all be possible. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, why? Or that that's one. Why? Error. Oh I guess. Well, what Thomas was saying before is if you think of it as a uh, square, in which case it's positive. Right? Yeah. But, but then we figure out if that's the right thing. But this side uh, looks like a, I guess on the right hand side where you go drawing, this is a quark anti quark state, is it? This is going from, these operators are going from a J side, an operator, and a quark anti quark state. Is that, do you understand that? And what is that thing on the, what state is on the right? Well, I gotta be just the quark. Right. Yeah. No, I, I, at the left hand side of that equation, you have a matrix on, you have an OJ, you have a J side. Uh -huh. And what are the matrix on this? What, what, what are the states? States. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the state, for example, this state? Well, what's, what's the state and what's the operator, first of all? Oh, state. So, oh, so, so in, in that formula, yeah, is, so, o, so, is O an operator or is S an operator? So spin spin singlet, uh, spin singlet and uh, sorry, color octet minus zero operator is good. Just, then you've got the O, and then what's the state on the left? Usually a matrix element is a state, an operator, a state. But you point out what what's the state, what's the operator, and what's the other state? Yes, yeah, so not just. Not just the expectation, not just write an expectation value, but say that it's, a, well, what, what, it's what, an expectation value in what state. Yeah. What state? Yeah. Is there a J psi in this state someplace? Mm. I'm just confused. Me too. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty confused. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, if you're confused, yeah. <laughs> what is the So, uh, states. So, uh, so could you, could you, you see, it's the same issue up there on, on your top one. You, you have uh, these expectations, you have, you have O, 3, S, 1, uh -huh. 1. Parentheses, another expectation. What, what, what states are the, is this a matrix element of an operator between two states? And if it is an operator between two states, what are the states? Ah, yeah. Okay. Right, so. so there you go. So you on the blackboard, so you have this psi bar, psi, pi, yeah. chi, chi bar, yeah, pi, chi bar. I mean, you just write the bracket. So, what is the state? Yeah, is it vacuum so, expectation? Uh, this is vacuum. Yeah. 
vacuum, vacuum. Expe expectation value. That was vacuum. Vacuum. Yes, sir. So yeah, everything, everything is vacuum expectation okay. value. No, because this is a problem. So there's no about the date side. I guess it's the OJ well, side. Jeff side. Jeff side. So, so, but this, this side so, of Kaiser are just quark fields. They're not date so Maybe they're like the quantum numbers of the. Uh, what? So this is one is zero, right? Because there's no uh, spin over the work. Right? So, so NRQCD tells us some. Um, so, so psi is one three s. So physically is CS one single say. So we need a spin free. Yeah, we need a spin free to obtain Jeff side from these operators. So these spin flips are. Uh, so, so, so what's the difference? So then I, I assume these operator expectation values are different from, let's say, psi prime, psi 2s, yes, psi 3s. Yes. Right. So how, how does the operator definition, if it's, if it's a vacuum expectation value, how does that know that it's a J psi and not a, not a psi 2s or psi 3s? Maybe you should say what Thomas is saying. It's like is in your bottom left hand corner, that matrix element, does that OJ psi, when that acts in the vacuum, does it create a J psi? To create a J psi. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a so from, yeah. So this means that. Uh, from Q cuba state in spin single and car octet to physical casting just with series one uh, quantum number. So um yeah. And of course the uh, these matrix elements are the same. I suggest you explain this. So. Yeah, offline. Oh, yeah. 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 Good suggestion. Okay. So, let's keep going. Ah, uh, okay. So, so this is a very, yeah. Uh, <coughs> so, so we don't know. So, uh, why, uh, uh, I'm sorry. So, the CCC plus NRQCD using these uh, uh, long distance matrix elements of reproduce the data on JFSI plus and proton, proton regions. But what about JFSI uh, production as a function and charge? This is another test of uh, universality uh, of long distance matrix elements. So, this is very interesting. So this is a uh, multiplicity of jet side as a function charge of multiplicity. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, yield of jet side as a function charge of multiplicity. Normalized to some normalized to minimum biases. Minimum biases. So these are mainly kind of these yeah events and kind number of cases. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a result by. This year, uh, version six point four. Probably this is a hard scattering. So only if we take, a, yeah, we consider, uh, if we consider only hard scattering, so the PCR gives a this hard, but the data is like this. Mm -hmm. So, so we can uh, study this multiplicity. Uh, so we need a soft model. Apart from right. the, 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 the so Pythia is just wrong. It's wrong. So it's a high uh, 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 It's more the plasma system. There's a combination in addition to the <laughs> <laughs> So the main message is that we need a soft model. So soft model means a saturation scale, so higher, so called fluctuation effect uh, of saturation, uh, saturation scale. So the charge of multiplicity, uh, yeah, charge multiplicity is estimated by dimensional analysis. So uh, this is no dimension, so the, the, this should be S part and QS. 
square. So S pop is a, a transverse uh, region in the collision of a collision of dimension, a collision of region. So the in base, uh, so if we fix this S pop, so higher multiplicity is obtained by increasing saturation scale. So this means a higher uh, fluctuation effects gives a higher multiplicity. And of course, saturation scale depends on impact parameters. But if we, if we use an IP saturation model or particles or something, so we can handle this B dependence of saturation scale, but it's, it's complicated for me. So, it, so in, in our study, we simply uh, increasing uh, we simply increase saturation scale to get a higher multiplicity event. So this is a charge multiplicity as a function of QS, P, red, red curves are obtained by fixing a projectile proton saturation scale while in, we increase the saturation scale for target, our target proton. The blue curves are uh, uh, the result of uh, some symmetrical uh, treatment. So, so we increase uh, both uh, projectile, uh, projectile proton saturation scale and target the proton saturation scale. And so if we take uh, these uh, curves, so we can reproduce a uh, uh, um, mean PT of charge hardon as a function of multiplicity. Of course, we tune uh, some input non perturbative parameters uh, in a, for example, Jacobian or some, yeah, some other somewhere. So, <coughs> so there's a K factor there. K factor. Yeah. No, is that the K factor? Uh, Kind of okay. I don't know. So, uh, <coughs> so, so what is this? Is, this is only inclusive Hadron production? Yeah. Okay. And, and you, you only consider the, the launch chain? Yes. Because this is a, a, is a head shift. So, so gluon, gluon scattering is a general source. Is there some impact parameter like fluctuation on the by different impact parameters here, or are you just very curious? It's just very curious. Yes. Just very curious. Yes. For, for simplicity. It's realistic. Mm, I yeah, this is realistic. Uh, <laughs> but <a> realistic. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> uh, so Pfizer, could you remind me of Pfizer and again the UN distribution to yeah. an MV model or the impact of evolution? MV initial condition plus RCBK. Okay, and you will change your initial, you fluctuate your yes. initial supervision. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then you evolve yeah. from yes. that fluctuation to a lower Yeah, the following RCBK. Yeah, of course, without using fragmentation function, uh, we overshoot the data. So the using fragmentation function is also a significant study. So um, let's go back to the Jeff production as a function of PG. So, in minimum, but in minimum bias event, the initial saturation scale is fitted by um, DIS global DIS data at here. So this is a QQ bar production cross section as a function PT. So each so different colors represent a different state. So the state dependence, so intermediate state dependence. For example, blue eye is a K 
class thing with series one channel. And the dominant channel is a y zero octet channel. On the other hand, in, me, in high multiplicity events, so you can see the 3s1 octet channel is dominant. So of course we have to involve a long distance matrix elements to obtain a physical jerks like selection cross sections from these <coughs> excuse me, um, these figures. But uh, yeah, this channel dependence uh, uh, is very interesting. So this is a uh, uh, QQ bar production E as a function of charge multiplicity. So yeah, the, these the different colors are showing uh, intermediate state dependence. So by comparing CGC calculations with data at the LHC, so why is there octet channels should have a larger weight, larger weight compared to minimum bias events? Otherwise, a single channel is small, so this line is gone. So, so that we have some underestimate uh, of data so from the CDC perspective. And the very interesting point here is larger weight of uh, one zero octet channel is consistent with the inverse IP requirement from uh, uh, E plus minus E plus E minus data. So one zero. I'm, I'm sorry. This three S one octet channel. So yeah, this is yeah, I, this is this is wrong. So. Uh, this three S one octet channel should have a larger weight compared to E and bias. I'm sorry. So, uh, so, so in this case, so uh, this is a consistent with the inverse HP requirement because the Y zero octet channel, uh, the weight of uh, long distance matrix elements for Y zero octet uh, should be small. Uh, so, uh, should be small. Compared to minimum bias. Sorry, are you saying that to fit this data, you pick different values from those matrix elements from the table we had before? And those new values satisfy the constraint? Is that what you uh, Actually, I didn't, I, I don't put any long distance matrix assignments in this report. So this is a. Do you fit it or do you fit it? No, uh, so this. Uh, uh, this black one is a evaporation of the result, but the other one is a uh, result for each intermediate state. So, no way. So, no way. No way. So, if we, so if Y0 octet channel has larger weight, we have this line, this green one. Uh, this is underestimated. So if CGC describes data, we need a, a larger weight for uh, 3S1 octet channel. So, so yeah, this case is, of course, yeah, as I mentioned, this case is consistent. <coughs> Yeah, so basically you fit those weights to this. I didn't fit. You can just forget about the uh, channels. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think so, yeah. They're the already below without any weights. So. If you use them as a bounce and they just forget about that, so we, most of the contribution will come from the. Uh, and by weights, you mean the matrix, <coughs> the matrix elements? What do you mean by weights? Long distance matrix. Yeah, yeah, yes. those, those things that are in the bounds. Yeah. 
ですか。はい。ああ、そうなんです。そうそう、まあ、そう。ああ、いや、そこの下に。ああ、この下に。So, yeah, we have discussed some interesting disag disagreement with the、uh, long n i s a s matrix s i m e n t r i c a l by a t e r a t o n data, a t e r a t o n on NH or something, and, and E plus E minus data, so upper bound. Right? So,、okay. um, I, don't, I don't mention here, but、uh, there's another、uh, interesting observable, so Jeff's a c r o d u c t i o n with Jeff's. So, this is, this is another、uh, test for constraining a long distance matrix. So, yeah, this, but this is our stuff.、Uh, so, Tim Lee, so, right, so, so, j e f f s i d e oops, so, yeah, this is j e f f s i d e production cross section in PP collision、uh, in the hybrid、uh, models. Yeah, the c o l i n e a r plus CDC. So, this is upsell c o l l e c t i o n So, clearly, this result is、uh, telling us that large s t a c k of logarithm is needed to take into account for upsell c o l l e c t i o n What is the new scale then? It goes from 2 GB to 2 GB. <coughs> That's right. So,、uh, this is a factorization scale for、uh, c o l l i n e a r Green distribution function because this is a Hybrid、uh, approach.、Mm -hmm. So, ground distribution function for project type pattern is clear. What's the addition? Do you want to do PT? PT?、Uh, yes, we don't need PT. So, we're going to do PT. So, we're going to do PT. Yeah, it, 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 it illustrates that it doesn't change much. Yes, yes, yes. That's crazy. 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 Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. You have to use one and only one. Right. That's what they want to do. Yeah. Yeah. This is a.、Uh, uh, yeah. So. Oh,、uh, well, this is a、yeah. linear order calculation.、Right? Yeah. Many more. Many more. Two expressions. You know. Correct. And、yeah. <laughs> next to it, the order calculation. Ah. To my knowledge, nobody. Nobody has already done. Next to reading all the calculation for coconut production in hybrid population. So, okay, so.、Uh, so, yeah, for o o p s a n production, we need a large logarithmic correction. So,、uh, let's revisit、uh, how to implement the s t a c k of、uh, factor. In general, so there, in principle, uh, <coughs> company production in,、uh, in the lower PT regions, we need a initial state of interaction from、uh, initial patterns, from initial patterns, and final state of interactions and、uh, interference like this. So, final state、uh, interactions gives no, no collinear singularities because、uh, heavy. So, there's a dead c o l l e effect. So, heavy c o l l e mass suppresses the collinear、uh, singularities, but there's a soft singularities. And, and also, initial state interaction gives us soft and collinear singularities. <coughs> and, and this initial state interaction is the、uh, most important. So, this is an ongoing study. So, if we Take no small p soft. If we take a small PT limit correctly and carefully,、uh, we can have、uh, these expressions from、uh, fixed order calculations 
uh, this expression tells us uh, uh, QQ bar production cross section from uh, in the gluon gluon channels uh, is uh, involving being leading order cross section and some corrections at next to reading order. So this uh, uh, from uh, these diagrams from initial state to interactions, and this is a collinear uh, singularity. Uh, sorry, this uh, this, uh, this comes comes from collinear collinear singularities from target from atom A, and this guys from comes from this radiation, and this guys from soft soft neuron. Yeah, interactions. And the very important point is uh, this form is the same as Higgs production. So in gluon gluon channel, so Higgs production is uh, glue glue to top loop and casting at Higgs. So top top mass is very large. So this top loop is effectively replaced by some effective coupling concept. So, so I will emphasize here some interesting natural should be important. So, 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 so what's the relation between the GACD and the integration? Uh, it's a momentum, longitude and momentum fraction uh, of CA to X, so probably D, yeah. Momentum fraction. Yeah, this is a moment of fraction. Right. This part is C is, C is um, well, let's say this this growth has a moment of fraction of x. So the Z is a C over uh, C divided by X. So, so, so. Yeah, I have to dig out my notes. So. Yeah, anyway, so uh, that's, yeah, yeah, yes, that is, yeah, so, so, <coughs> so the important point is initial state interaction is important for coupling function at lower PT. <coughs> so, so the, <coughs> in the TMD, in the coin, coin so far, some of the is that cross section is expressed by the, in the coordinate space, so W plus some uh, corrections. W is a reading order uh, cross section times uh, soft factor and uh, collinear PDS. So soft factor, yeah, this is a circle factor, circle factor involving coefficients A and B. So in gluon gluon fusion, A and B are universal. So the this means a uh, coefficient, yeah, circle coefficients for co coin productions are the same as uh, fixed productions. And A, B, C, yeah, A, B, and C are calculated part of in principle. So, this is a B space distribution for Uxian production. So, let's say, if, uh, uh, QQ bar pair is produ produced at high PT. So this group of uh, B distribution has a larger weight at lower B park. So there are different colors, different lines shows uh, dependence of scattering energy. So larger scattering energy shows uh, so larger scattering energy shows a large, yeah, large peak at smaller B. And this is a rapidity dependence. So what rapidity uh, gives a slightly, yeah, slightly peak, a smaller peak. Yeah, this is because uh, at what rapidity the phase space so produce a uh, QQ bar is shrinks. 
that's why we have uh, this uh, small peak. Anyway, so yeah, the important point is that QQ bar production is uh, QQ bar is produced part of the and the pattern shot and the PT of QQ bar comes from pattern shower in transfer frame, and this pattern shower is a uh, part of the showers for Upsilon production. But Jeff side, the, for Jeff side production, as uh, non perturbative uh, pattern showers are very important. So this uh, result in the CSS formalisms. It's a Tematron data, and this is a uh, Atlas data, this is a Quadra PT result. So initial state hard pattern showers describe data of site production from Tematron LHC. So this these results are showing uh, we don't take care of the gluon shower in final state. So sorry, I'm confused. You, you started the talk by showing similar curves coming from CPC and using the same data. Yeah. And now you have CSS format yeah. using the same data. So, yes, same data. Yes, same data. So the data is consistent with both. Uh yeah, cons I mean it's different physics, right? Yeah, different physics. Different physics, but uh, in this in this, in this figure. We combine the saturation effect and pattern shower effect together. In this figure. Yeah, in, in this figure. previous slide, you just said. Yeah, this is a only, only pattern shower effect. Right? Ah, so this blue curves are CZ with us. Pattern shower effect. So red curves are. You don't need CZ, right? If you compare the groups afterwards. Let's say CZ, so. I said part of the shower effect is predominant over saturation effect in proton proton collisions or Upsilon production. But in proton nucleus collisions, saturation effect and part of the shower effect are so, yes. Yeah, this is a, a yeah. I will uh, yeah. Uh, let's <laughs> let's <laughs> finalize. My talk, so actually this is breaking proton nucleus. <coughs> so this is a reminder of effective factorization. Let's consider a larger PT region. <coughs> <I'm sorry. coughs> oh, for example, Upsilon production at a small PT. So <coughs> yeah, from CCC perspective, so this yeah, transverse momentum of Upsilon is responsible for saturation scale. Right? So saturation scale is responsible for uh, transverse momentum of uh, Upsilon. So, yeah. but if this saturation scale is comparable to uh, uh, MB, so heavy coke mass times uh, coke velocity, so this uh, uh, velocity expansion is unclear. Of course, it's PT. So, so there's uh, some higher choice uh, effect, like uh, uh, QS over PT, something like that. So, in this case, so first expansion is unclear. I have a very hard rapidity, low end simulations, is telling so we can separate, effectively, we can separate a scale. Uh, from hard scattering and uh, hard organization scale. So, as far as we, we stick to uh, forward rapidity, uh, velocity expansion seems to be uh, good in color evaporation model and NRKCB. So, yeah, we have assumed this uh, velocity expansion uh, so far. Oh, charbon production, jet set up, Upsilon production. <coughs> I'm sorry. However, um, yeah, as I mentioned here, you must be careful uh, at low PT because soft color exchange between spectators and the CC here 
is indispensable. And as a, as a result, it's expected that interaction breaks the factorization. And this was point, pointed out by Roski Mira's paper uh, back in two, 1988. So, so for in proton nuclear collision and charmonia production, so we we have to consider Komuro patterns uh, interaction in final state. But this is not so easy. So we have to put some model to uh, estimate this collinear factorization breaking effect. So yeah, this is a good tip, yeah, good test. Uh, so psi 2s anomalous suppression has been reported at the LHC in p equations. So this uh, RPA as a function of morality, this is a uh, uh, double ratio of psi 2s and jet psi. So these take experiment data showing clearly so psi 2s is suppressed uh, than the upside, but and in heavy ion collision community, uh, this larger psi 2 s suppression is attributed attribute is is due to uh, Komuba effect in final state. So I uh, we augured last last year we augured this Komuba effect. Uh, uh, as a patterns, Komuba patterns interaction between uh, Komuba pattern interactions uh, with producer CC bar pair in final state. So, so we need to put up some model to explain this Komuba interaction in final state. To do so, uh, we employ uh, CC plus improved color evaporation model. So in proton-proton collisions, uh, we fit the normalization here. Uh, and this lambda is uh, responsible for transverse momentum kick by uh, Komuba patterns. And in the we assume in proton-proton collisions, uh, we put, yeah, those Komuba interactions are uh, included in F. But in proton nucleus equation, there, is, there should be enhancement effect, uh, enhancement effect of Komuba interactions. Yeah. So we change uh, uh, this upper cut by hand to reproduce the data. So this is a result. So RPA as a function of PT, this is jet psi and psi 2s, this double ratio. So lambda, so lambda depend, so this is a lambda dependence. So lambda equals zero is a, a result in proton, yeah, corresponding to proton proton regions. Uh, we need some scale of lambda, say 10 MeV, 20 MeV. This is very soft, very soft. So, and this means, uh, and also, <coughs> so jet side production yield, uh, yields don't change by changing lambda from zero to uh, 30 MeV, but uh, uh, side 2 s production yields is very sensitive to the choice of lambda. This means that uh, this is very reasonable because uh, jet size is a strongly binding system. And in the meantime, the psi 2 s is a loosely binding system. So the psi 2 s is very sensitive to uh, Komuba interactions. So yeah, this is summary. So thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, so uh, thank you.